So one, two, three, four, five, A, one, two, three, four, five, B, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. right. And Is there one more? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good, because there's only one more in the bed to be fertilized. So Is that if we right? Can do it, oh, good. then we're done. Yeah. We're doing this at, so we can have a conversation with the public. This garden attracts, I don't know, 100,000 people during the when the peonies are in bloom easily from all, not only in Arbor, from around the area. And we come out here on weekends and we talk to people about. Um, the urine derived fertilizer, what it is, why it's important, why it's important for the community. Thank you, thank you. Of course. Okay, here we go. Here comes your potassium. At first, we thought people might be hesitant. You know, this is this might be weird, but we've we've really experienced very little of that attitude. I think in general, people think it's funny at first, but then they 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 understand why we're doing it and they support it. We have used the term pee on the peonies, and then it grabs people's attention, and then we can talk to them about nutrient flows and, and nutrient efficiency in our communities and how to be more sustainable. It turns out some people thought that that was permission to drop their drawers and pee on the peonies. Um, so this year we're going to use pee for the peonies <laughs> and hope that we don't have that confusion. <laughs>